with each released piece of content. MadPad's reputation sinks lower. The stage of sinking I'd like to address today is his recent Fortnite video. While the entirety of the clip is simple confirmation bias, there is one particular part which I am very fond of. Why would I be interested in something produced by MadPad? Well, that's because that bit is pretty much a copy of my own Fortnite video, except totally incorrect and mutilated to the core. Stay frosty as I will be providing the facts, the actual amount of meters, and the truth. Let's start with the most obvious fact. There is now a distance traveled statistic in the game, and apparently neither MadPad nor his team have played the game ever since they recorded their Rise Come Bit to know that. Thanks to this, and thanks to my boy Mastricker who has kept me up to date, we now know how many meters is a single floor tile and a single wall tile, 5 by 5 meters and 3.8 meters high. And indeed, my method of calculating distance still works and converts to meters perfectly. Thus, we can quickly check MatPat's little bus that he used for measuring. One can simply go in-game and check that the broken down bus is 10 meters aka 2 floors, and not 12, which is a huge conversion error, but what's the fun in that? Upon reviewing the comparison to the real-life version, my crew and I have spotted that the Bluebird Vision has two distinct features that would make it impossible to correlate it to the Fortnite Battle Bus, the capacity and the windows. The Bluebird has 52 seats and, under max capacity, can hold 78 people. We know that the in-game version could host a whole 100. The real-life counterpart also has two more windows. And honestly, how dumb do you have to be to get measurements from a slanted, collapsed bus of the spawn island has fresh copies of them? Truly, that's a drop in the ocean compared to the sins MatPat has committed not only in this video but overall. Let's see some more details. He claims to have calculated the map size before the patches to it, as in measuring the 7x7 grid instead of the new 10x10 one. Yet in the video he jumps from one map grid to another a multitude of times, even further disproving himself. Besides, why wouldn't you just redo the calculations for the new grid? That is because I already had most of the information readily available in my video, which is on the top of the search bar when you load measures up. So he decides to work off that instead, stealing the time it takes to travel and the formulas. Do you really think it was a coincidence that he did his math on the same version I did my video on? I did my video first, I have the full rights. Since the bus calculation is totally false, we can put a crushing blow to any of the land measurements as well. The single grid square that he provided numbers for is obviously wrong and the land distance shown on the map is outrageous. Take a moment to observe this disgusting red stripe. It's actually just slapped on top of the goddamn map horizontally without taking verticality, the ocean, land variability and everything else into account. This is an insult to folk that literally spend hours making sure their math is on point. A disgrace. One point that I've failed to consider so far is MadPat's apparent ignorance to the existence of floors. Could it be that he has seen my video at the top of the YouTube search bar and decided to bail on the most powerful ruler of the land? And don't forget that Mr. Pat didn't provide anything new at all to the table except lies and a mere shadow of math. Me and my Tricker have already covered everything there is and all you would need to do is just credit us. That action would completely remove the need for this video. There was no real requirement for this map info regardless. He was describing his Venus theory and nonchalantly just decides to add a part about map size so that, quoting, I had nowhere else to put this in the script and I thought you guys would get a kick out of it. Frankly, it did not help. The video was useless anyway. Now, let's have some real math over here. My Tricker has helped me massively with this one since he notified me of MatPat's video I don't watch that slush and provided me with new information. So, let's recall what I've said earlier and add on to it. A floor tile is 5x5 and a wall is 3.8 to 3.9 meters. Stairs meet a wall at the halfway point and the player can barely fit under them making humans 1.8 to 1.9 meters tall, which makes sense since it's the average height. 
The new grid is 10 by 10, having each square as 50 by 50 floors. This implies that the square is 250 meters wide and high, and the whole map is 2.5 kilometers. It's going to take you 50 to 52 seconds to cross a single wide square. As for the ocean, refer to my previous video. Alright, that's all I have for now. Research has shown that people somehow don't instantly subscribe when they see quality content, and creators must remind them. So when the outer rolls, click that button, okay? Check my announcement video for more info about this. I'm out.